Chilling new details emerge about a young man suspected of sexually assaulting a mother as she walked down the street with her baby. And according to prosecutors, she wasn't his only victim. Yeah, right now, 18-year-old Job Hughley is behind bars awaiting arraignment. And sources say Hughley actually confessed to the crimes. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live from outside 36th District Court in Detroit. Kim, this guy, he, he seems to be dangerous if this is, if this is all correct. Police say in just days, Malcolm, this teen tore apart numerous lives. He's going to be arraigned here at 36th District Court today for the sexual assaults on multiple women. Plus, he's suspected in the murder of a man known for taking care of a Detroit park. He loved it out there. It was like his second home. It was like, kind of like his, his backyard. He took much pride in cleaning the park. He made that his job. It's like he did it for a couple hours and he'd walk around a little bit, he'd visit with people, and then he'd take a little nap underneath the willow tree. 55 year old Mike Havanaugh's sister says her brother went to the park he loved on Monday and never came home. Someone shot him three times at Stopel Park and left him to die. Kavanaugh lived with his father, a retired Detroit firefighter. His father is unable to speak because of a stroke, but is still able to express his loss. He learned yesterday that 18-year-old Job Hewley, an accused rapist, told his grandparents he also committed the killing. I couldn't believe it. He just go and kill somebody or rape somebody because that's not the way he was raised. The 18-year-old's grandfather says he got the call from his grandson in jail. Police arrested Hewley Thursday after they say he tried to rape a 36-year-old Detroit mother walking with her toddler in a stroller on Detroit's west side. When she ran from him, he shot her in the back. He is also accused of sexually assaulting two other women this month. Kavanaugh's sister says she hopes the arrest of her brother's suspected killer helps her family and her neighborhood heal. I do feel better to know that the person that did this is off the street because there's been too much chaos around here. A lot of my neighbors have kids. They won't let them outside. We have this big, beautiful park. They can't go. So maybe now we'll get a little more. The justice maybe will be served that way. If convicted, he faces life in prison. Live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.